drive is running good, so uh, while I'm uploading Neo Mormon shunning, I uh, will do another video for you this morning. Has inspired. Uh, I'm sure the uh, under 10 of you, as 10 is still too much views allowed by YouTube for me <coughs> and the church uh, that uh, uh, Mormon psychologist who got excommunicated uh, for uh, uh, preaching because uh, psychologists really don't they're a fake science but that's not why she was excommunicated the church fully embraces psychology when it supports the church. <laughs> when it helps with their agenda, which is currently what Governor Cox and the University of Utah mental health director uh, is implementing. As I had warned you earlier this year, when I had received insider information from the University of Utah director. I got a hold of it. He said he was planning on increasing mental cases. And here we are. Delta virus. The coronavirus Delta is their plan that they were implementing to purposely cause the spread and escalation of it and to carry it throughout the nation. It's already in Missouri as it's making the news and it's gonna rise in the other states as well. This is what they were planning and plotting. So ta-da, there you go. I provided you with insider information and it's now happening. As nobody that I informed in the government did anything to stop it. Anyway, I digress. She was excommunicated because she told her patients that it was okay to masturbate. If you don't remember the church, <laughs> masturbation is a sin. <laughs> I still remember being horrified and uh, when uh, Elder Scott and others would come out in conference in the 80s and uh, denounce masturbation. I never even got sex ed. Nope. Uh, the school under was it Governor Brown uh, in fifth grade, uh, there were uh, cartoon drawings of a dissected uh, penis. That's it. I didn't get instructed on the women's body. Nope. I had no clue about women. We were left in the dark as men or boys as to the women's sexuality and sexual reproduction. It was all about men. I had no interest in the penis. <laughs> so I just shut off while in the dark with the film projection, whatever, slides, and uh, of course my dad, no, nah, didn't do nothing, <clears throat> but she wasn't excommunicated for preaching that pornography is an addiction, church was okay with that part, <laughs> again, proper sex ed, would instruct us as to the natural biological functioning of men. Okay, I have two minutes as apparently the YouTube employee is not working this shift <laughs> to slow down the processing. It seems to be flowing fairly well. <coughs> so, how? be making a, an interruption to transfer to the other channel to put that up there too. And so which, who is right? 
well obviously the prophet is right the church is true not this crazy Mormon well I'm a Mormon yeah she's in a field specific job and she's Mormon but the teachings of her job are contrary to the church remember they embrace psychology as long as they support the church and do what the church wants them to do <laughs> and How are we supposed to know? You know, Mormons would side with the prophets in the church. You know, she was wrong. She just doesn't understand. She got deceived by the wisdom of the world and fell. You know, she was supposed to turn psychology to defend the church. But what about, what about what about ism? Other examples. Mormons bear testimony. The church is true. I'm born and raised Mormon. I do my videos. Joseph Smith is true. Who's right? Who's wrong? Because we're not both right. See, for me, I've learned that Joseph Smith is true, and because Joseph Smith is true, the current church is wrong. It's a natural conclusion. It's deductive. Both cannot be true at the same time. And thus, the problem. So who is right and who is wrong? Obviously, Mormons who believe the church is true say they're right and that I'm wrong. But in saying I'm wrong, you're saying Joseph Smith is wrong. So you can't have both of those true. Only one can be true. Or both are false. And I went over in the video that I'm in the process of uploading here on both channels, <coughs> that uh, ah, Rena Malik, she's the one I need to talk about. <laughs> well, yeah, I'll just talk about it now and come back to the Mormon version. <clears throat> she talks about all things sexuality. She's a psychologist. Well, actually, she's an MD. It's a medical doctor. She's real. <laughs> no wonder. <laughs> No wonder I like her. <laughs> okay. Now I get it. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> oh, cat. watch that video in a minute? <laughs> uh, hidden True Crime. Chad Daybell pleads not guilty. Lori Daybell still incompetent. Still incompetent. So, did she get tested and... Okay. Because I'm not sure how it works in Idaho. I know how it works in Utah, and I'm familiar with California's process for not competent to proceed to a trial. But, uh, alrighty. Man. Another Utah boy is reportedly run away, and the dad is remaining silent on the matter. Just 
so sad that families can just hate one of their children and condemn them and shun them. Shunning. The Neo-Mormon shunning. As I am uploading for you right now. Alright. So, this medical doctor, uh, she also talked about masturbation, but she did it as a doctor, not as a psychologist. Big difference between the two. And she correctly stated before that there's not enough research data on the subject. And so she needed to make that clear in the particular video that I watched to compare with the Mormon psycho. Uh, I didn't put material girl. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I was going to put material girl with the description. Oh, man. Alright, well, we'll just skip it. Just understand that the description is supposed to have material girl for that one. Madonna. Lady Madonna. It didn't pay a full tithe. And, and so she talked about how the medical benefits of masturbation. Uh, if she were Mormon, the church would be in a conflict. Oh no, she's a medical doctor. What do we do? <laughs> do we excommunicate her and risk the wrath of the nation and the world on us? For denying science? Because Nelson's a medical doctor. Oh no, which do we choose? But when she came to the, the unclear part of uh, porn uh, that's, that's it. Okay. <clears throat> she clearly does not know how men's bodies work on that and and so she sort of fell into the trap almost like the psychologist who got excommunicated did, but not quite. She did not call it an addiction. She says that when it consumes you so that other activities in your life are not able to be done, then it's a problem. Well, there's a problem <laughs> in that men cannot just do it all the time because once we're done we're done and the older we get the longer it takes between sessions <clears throat> so now again who is right who is wrong what is truth both cannot be true at the same time one is all true or neither is true now we can go back to the, the other one, the Book of Mormon. Both Mormons, the Neo-Mormons, and I both believe the Book of Mormon is true. As it's kind of confusing ex-Mormons. <laughs> they do not understand, I guess. Or maybe they're upset that I had exposed John DeLynn because ex-Mormons flock to John DeLynn like neo-Mormons flock to the church and John DeLynn knows this he knows how to groom he knows how to do things if you notice I'm now starting to use neo-Mormon now as of this morning well, actually yesterday I think I did a thing on it yesterday, Neo-Mormon. Rise of Neo-Mormons, yeah. <coughs> it's because I know the system, too. I know how to brainwash, 
I just choose not to. See, Neo-Mormon is not me bullying Mormons as Neo-Mormons. It's Mormons who are bullying the world, saying that, hey, this is who we are. You must accept us. And so I'm the one who's giving it a name. They've already decided who they are. That's the difference. Is that bullies lie with the name calling. It's abuse. Versus what I'm doing, which is just exposing what Mormons have already declared themselves. Neo-Mormons. And it's not a bad word. It just comes close to neo-Nazis <laughs> and so yes my little personality shining through and so who's right Book of Mormon is it a history because if it's history then you have to denounce the first vision which you claim is history because again, the first vision, let's go over it, Joseph Smith never says it was Jesus. He says two personages. The one said the other is his son, my beloved son. No Jesus, no Heavenly Father, not even Amen. <laughs> and they apparently tell Joseph Smith that the historical Jesus, their creeds, the first came from the Council of Nicaea, in which Constantine created the historical Jesus, turning all the gospel literature into history. Just like that. I'm sick and tired, I'm hot, I'm cranky, I want to go back to the kingdom. <laughs> Your god is now Hamusius. He created a Greek word for his new historical Jesus. And are Christians now running away? Yeah, I lost my Christian audience with this. They're acting exactly like Neo-Mormons do with my videos. They can't handle the truth of their own religion and history. Just like Neo-Mormons can't handle the truth of their history, which is not history. So this personage who Mormons claim is the historical Jesus says the historical Jesus is an abomination in my sight. Abomination. So what does that mean for the Book of Mormon again? Is it a history? With the historical Jesus? No. This is how you do research. Using sound argument. dismissing fallacy. So this one too is processing well. Yeah. Surprised he's not working this morning. He's also gone silent. He's resorted to attacking me on my computer instead. <clears throat> but again, him versus me. I tricked him, because I know the tricks of psychology, I got him to come out and communicate with me. Because previous, he was just attacking. Just throwing all sorts of hate at me. Death threats. And he not defending the church, just attacking. And I got him. He came out and confessed he's been sealed in the temple. 
and is obeying the temple covenants. There's more to say on that, but he also revealed some of his beliefs about the latter days. That the three days of darkness are not following the laws of physics or astronomy. I've been telling you the scriptures are talking about all the signs in the heavens as astronomy science so that we can know them. None of this, oh, I don't know, maybe my own opinion can change things so that if it doesn't happen, I can justify it. <laughs> and they're running the checks versus the other one that didn't. God. Checks are only for copyright material. My voice is not copyrighted. They're purposely using this to slow down and hinder the video in their analog. Okay. They are up. Up, up and away, my beautiful, my beautiful baboon. Ah, there's one after 14 minutes. And there's folate for ED. Yeah, she thinks that ED is a thing. No, guys. It's not. <laughs> no. It's just once we're done, we're done. And we have to wait for it to fill up again before we can do it again. If we don't wait till we're fully full, then we have what's called ED not ED. We're just waiting to regenerate. And the older we get, the slower the time for regeneration takes. That's it. That's all. But yeah, if you want to buy pills that'll cause harm to your body, go ahead and be a sucker and a loser. So yeah, she doesn't quite understand that as a medical doctor, but she's female. How is she going to get men to tell her the truth? <laughs> She's not talking to me. I'll tell her. See, my mom was that way. My sisters, after mom came and talked to them, they came and told us, Yeah, she said penis. <laughs> oh, whoa, we didn't get anything. <laughs> so weird thinking about that. Siblings discussing the sex ed that we just received from our parents. Taking notes and comparing. So weird. <clears throat> and so, do you know everything, Mormons? Or do you not know everything? Which is it? Because you outwardly tell everybody that you don't know everything. But then you go around and you tell other people they're wrong. I'm telling you, I have knowledge. Not a belief, not a spiritual witness. I had a belief. I had a spiritual witness. Now I have knowledge. Do you not understand what that means? Do you not know Alma chapter 32 starting in verse 28? Do you not understand that process? It's a scientific process. They use vegetation as their example. Vegetation is the scientific field. You know, farming, it's a science. Seed to fruit. Just like medical doctors, not like psychos. Psychos are fake and fraudulent. They don't use science. Governor Cox says, oh, we need mental scientists during this time of Delta virus. Uh, yeah, Katja, this was premeditatively planned. And so, you know, 
Are you running away from my videos because you think you know better than me? Are you sending me death threats, hate comments, hacking my computer because you believe you're right and that justifies you to be anti-Christ-like? I'm unfamiliar with the historical Jesus doing anything like this. And Jesus went out among the Pharisees at night and short-sheeted their beds. Uh, no, he left them alone. He did his own thing. It was the Pharisees who came to Jesus to condemn him. Jesus didn't bother with the Pharisees, Sadducees, scribes, not even Caiaphas the high priest. And when they came to him and attacked him, that's when he defended himself and said, Thou hypocrites. Matthew 23. Awesome. <laughs> and so, Jesus was just talking about the kingdom. Yeah, this is how you can be saved in the kingdom. And then the Sadducees, Pharisees, and scribes come along. How dare you! You know, historical Jesus. <laughs> Buy your historical Jesus doll now. <laughs> Let your kids pretend he's real. And put him in action poses. <laughs> you know, that's a child thing. You know, where they reenact social behavior construction that they've been learning from their parents and, and uh, siblings if any of them are older etc you know they, they pretend that they have you know invisible people that they talk with and all that stuff it's supposed to be a phase you're not supposed to carry that with you into adulthood but unfortunately when you're traumatized that's what happens is you carry that into your adulthood as a safety mechanism for your brain. It's not a mental illness. You don't need to be drugged so that you're murdered at an earlier age. And then you have to have your behavior changed with drugging. Like the guy I saw on the bus this past Tuesday. Yeah, they really did a number on him. He was very meadow. They call me Mellow Yellow. It's because he was doing drugs. That's why he's Mellow Yellow. The Doobie Brothers? Yeah. A Mormon was very upset with me at work when I said, you do know that that refers to uh, smoking, right? The Smoking Brothers. No, no it's not. She was pissed. She insisted that Doobie did not mean a smoke, a joint. Wow. She was altering reality to conform to her belief system. Remember Alma 12. If you have incorrect beliefs, not in the text, Bruce Armaconkey puts it in the heading. But he did understand the concept, and I, you need to add spiritual witness to that list. Your spiritual witness will condemn you if it's wrong. And the manner in which it condemns you, not for the afterlife as Bruce is trying to distract with, you got that part wrong. The Book of Mormon is trying to tell and warn that you set off a chain reaction that leads to destruction when you simply start with an incorrect belief or spiritual feeling or thought. So we have thoughts all the time. Thoughts really aren't something until we start to think more about it and say, oh, okay, I like that thought. 
killing other people who don't believe in Nelson. Sounds like a good idea, Desnat. Bunch of asses. They tried to make me popular. <laughs> YouTube went into panic mode <laughs> to shut them down. <laughs> They did not understand. The church doesn't want me to have attention. <laughs> uh, good times. So I hope that explains it for you. you got to have correct beliefs. I mean, yeah, we don't know what you're thinking. We don't know what you're feeling until you communicate it until you act it out. But once you do communicate to us and act it out, we now can judge you and say, nope, that belief you have is wrong because it's causing damage. It's causing harm. You're acting like Brian David Mitchell or Chad Daybell or Ted Bundy. Who knows how many others? The bishop down in St. George area, who was also a cop. He was pimping or prostituting women, having sex with them, trying to save them, he said. So, there you go. That took a little bit longer because of the uploading of the previous video, but the point has been made.